Brittany, meanwhile, a coronavirus outbreak has Major League Baseball on alert tonight. One team with nearly a dozen cases has now postponed two games. And it's raising questions about what might happen next. Our sports director, Randy McAvoy, is live tonight at Minute Maid, where the Astros are playing tonight. And Randy, the Astros aren't directly impacted by these cases, but the entire league is really watching how this thing plays out. Uh, absolutely. They're watching it every day to see what numbers come in, and they expect Major League Baseball, and led by Commissioner Rob Manfred, to step in and make the right decision when that is needed. Now, the baseball season was set at 60 games, and really before the season even started, the big question was, without a bubble in baseball, unlike what the NBA is having success with right now, would COVID-19 issues arise? And the answer to that, after three games and the three first weekend of baseball, the answer is yes. The first team to really be hit hard by COVID-19, the Miami Marlins. That's come down over the last 24 hours. They played in Philadelphia over the weekend, and then yesterday had 13 in their traveling party, mostly players along with a couple of coaches, all test positive. While they remain in Philly tonight, their home opener with the Baltimore Orioles tonight was canceled by MLB tomorrow night's game as well. Also, the Yankees-Phillies game also postponed since the Marlins played in Philadelphia over the weekend. Here's Astros manager Dusty Baker on speaking with both teams about this COVID issue. You know, I talked to some of the guys on the Marlins and some of the guys on the uh, Phillies. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate. I just hope that, you know, we're not at in that situation ever this year. So. All right, uh, another side note now, Washington Nationals scheduled to go to Miami this weekend. And earlier today, Nat Skipper, Dave Martinez made it clear he wants to see baseball cancel that weekend series right now. He wants to protect his players, and who can blame him uh, for that? Coming up in sports, we'll have uh, plenty more on the Astros. We'll hear from George Springer talking about the injury to Justin Verlander. Live at Minute Park, Randy McAvoy, KPRC Channel 2 Sports. Thanks, Randy. I'm watching the tropics. This system could become Isaias. That's our eye storm right now, an 80% chance of development over the next five days. We'll talk about what could happen straight ahead in weather. And COVID-19 vaccine trials right here in Houston. The Texas-based research group searching for volunteers next on Channel 2 News at 6. Find your keys. Find your get up and go. Find pants that aren't sweats. Find your friends. Find your sense of wonder. Find the world is new again. At Chevy, we'd like to take you there. Now, during the Chevy Open Road Sales Event, get up to 15% of MSRP cash back on select 2020 models. That's over $5,700 cash back on this Equinox. It's time to find new roads again. Who is Donald Trump? He mocks the disabled. He praises racists. Very fine people. He attacks the military. I like people that weren't captured, okay? A 53-year-old Navy veteran hit repeatedly. He protects the criminals. He sympathizes with child sex traffickers. This Lane Maxwell is in prison. I just wish her well, frankly. And now he attacks mothers. Who is Donald Trump? Donald Trump is a disaster. Midas Touch is responsible for the content of this advertising. At Gallery Furniture, our phones are ringing off the wall right now, wanting to know, are you open? Can you deliver a Tempur-Pedic or Sealy Posturepedic mattress tonight? I need to sleep great. I'm concerned about my health. The answer is yes, Gallery Furniture is open. Yes, we can deliver your Tempur-Pedic, Sealy Posturepedic, Stearns and Foster sleep set to your Houston area home free, free, free in three or four hours, and you can start sleeping great tonight. We'll haul off your old mattress you're replacing absolutely free also. Buy a new mattress today at Gallery Furniture. Get it delivered in three or four hours free, free, free. Hi, I'm Don Valentine, president and owner of John Moore Services, Houston's own plumbing, AC, and electrical company. We want to help our customers and neighbors on the road to recovery. So anytime you use John Moore for a home repair, enjoy a free $50 gift card on us. It's our thank you to you. Spend it to get caught up on bills or to help our local businesses get back on their feet. Let's heal Houston together. AutoNation's got the cars and trucks America wants. Shop AutoNation.com. You're watching Channel 2, Houston's home for news. 
When a COVID-19 vaccine is made, it'll be big news, and Houston could be on the front lines of that medical breakthrough. And so could you. Some vaccine trials are being conducted right here. Channel 2 Sion Roads live in Northwest Houston with how you can take part. Sion? Ventavia Research Group is working with some of the major pharmaceutical companies hoping to come up with that vaccine, but they say they can't do it without your help. After seven years of clinical trials for diabetes, migraines, and the flu, Ventavia Research Group suddenly found itself involved in the hunt for a COVID-19 vaccine. This is something that we need worldwide right now to help potentially save lives. Big pharmaceutical companies relying on the Texas-based clinical research site to recruit patients and administer experimental drugs they hope will be the first FDA-approved COVID-19 vaccine. I think it's exciting to develop new medicine for our future. Now looking for volunteers to give the potential vaccine a shot. I definitely would because it would help my parents, it'll help my grandchildren along the line. This research uh, projects that we're doing are all geared towards making our community safer and better. The company says they need tens of thousands of healthy people ages 18 and up, including people at high risk for COVID exposure. Maybe they're first line responders. Um, they work in nursing homes. Patients will be closely monitored by doctors for one to two years. To see if they have a good immune response to the vaccine. It's critical that we get these volunteers. The more we get in, the faster it goes. And then the, hopefully the quicker the FDA can actually approve this if, this, if it does prove to be safe and effective. Now, volunteers will be compensated for their time and for travel. If you'd like more information, we've got the number on your screen that you can call. You can also go to their website. Live in Northwest Houston, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.